Hello and welcome to this video about the work of Mendel. His full name was Gregor Mendel and Mendel did a lot of work on plants and breeding plants and especially he was interested in peas. Um, in your exam they might throw a curveball and not talk about peas in relation to Mendel, they might choose another plant so just bear that in mind. But his main work and his most famous work is associated with peas. What he did was he bred um, pea plants to see what characteristics were passed down to the next generation of pea plants. So, for example, he could have looked at the characteristic of height and whether they're tall or short. And this is one of the experiments that he actually did. He crossed a tall plant with a short plant. First of all, he made sure that the short plant and tall plant that he was used using only ever produced, um, if this bred with another short plant, it only ever produced short plants and this only ever produced tall plants. So he called them um, pure, They're pure tall or pure short. And he bred these two together and when he did that he um, predicted this. He predicted that if he crossed a tall plant with a short plant he'd end up with a medium sized plant. He thought that there would be offspring that had height somewhere in the middle of the two. But in fact what he found out was that all of the offspring between the short and the tall plant resulted in all tall plants. <coughs> but he didn't stop there. He then, after he'd crossed these tall plant with a short, he then took um, two of these tall plants that he'd made and he crossed them together. So this is the first step he did, crossed the short plant with the tall plant and he found all of these offspring were tall but then the next step that he did he crossed two tall plants together and the result of that then was that he had some tall plants and some short plants as the offspring. So for example he could have taken these two here, bred them together and the resulting offspring were in a ratio of three tall to one short. So he was really interested in how it came about that he would get a short plant again that he'd had up in this generation up here when he bred the two tall plants together. So he suggested that there must be some separately inherited factors, that's what he called them at the time, separately inherited factors that were causing the plant to be either tall or short because this short characteristic here had skipped a generation. Now the reason he called them separately inherited factors was because there was no understanding of chromosomes or genes at the time. Mendel's work um, was not really widely accepted at the time. Um, first of all, he wasn't a true scientist. Um, he was a religious man um, who enjoyed gardening, enjoyed breeding plants and working with plants, and he definitely was acting like a scientist, but he wasn't within the scientific circles. So therefore his work wasn't widely pu published at his time. Um, so not so there wouldn't have been many scientists that would have been able to look at his work and criticise it or try and reproduce it. Um, but the main idea was the fact that genes and chromosomes were not yet discovered. We now know that these separately inherited factors are what we call chromosomes. And we can now use genetic crosses to actually see what was going on in Mendel's work. So first of all, let's talk about his first experiment he did where he crossed a tall plant, a pure tall plant, with a short plant. So as with genetic diagrams, um, we have a capital T for the dominant allele, the dominant version of the gene, and that will give a tall characteristic. And we have a lowercase t for the recessive allele, the recessive version of the gene, and that will give us a short plant. If you're not sure what these words mean, then perhaps um, first of all look at my video on genetic diagrams and then come back to this part of the video a little bit later on. <clears throat> so in the first experiment, he crossed a tall plant, which is this one here. So this was the tall genotype. 
which is um, capital T, capital T, and if you're higher, you'd call this the genotype, and you'd say it was homozygous dominant. And here we had the short plant, which is lowercase t, lowercase t, which is homozygous recessive. So when he crossed these together, he would have got capital T, lowercase t, for all of the scenarios. The so higher, you need to be thinking about calling these heterozygous, because they've got one of each capital letter in there one of each allele and because the capital T is dominant that means all of these plants have that dominant allele in there the dominant allele is for a tall plant so all of these plants would have been tall he then took two of these tall plants in the second experiment and cross them together. So this time he's taken the heterozygous with one dominant and one recessive allele and he's crossed those together and this time he ends up with um, TT, capital T, lowercase t, capital T, lowercase t and two lowercase t's. So as you can see here He's got um, dominant alleles for tall in three of uh, the offspring. So in three quarters of the offspring, there's dominant allele, therefore these ones will all be tall. Whereas in the final quarter of the offspring population, you will get the case where you've got two lowercase, and because you've now got two lowercase, you'll get a short plant. So that's why he ended up with three quarters of the offspring being tall and one quarter being short in the re ratio of three to one tall to short or 75% you could call it tall. So this just links in our understanding of genetic diagrams with the work of Mendel. Do be aware in your exam that they're not necessarily going to talk about tall and short plants. He did lots of experiments. They could be talking about the colour of the peas. Um, they could be talking about whether the peas are wrinkled or round. Or they could be talking about another plant altogether. So don't expect them to be talking about tall and short, although they might well do. If you found that video useful, then please press the like button below and feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.